because all other poker is in 3D, right? Well, strictly speaking, I suppose it is, but I don't quite get the relevance of the game's spatial construct. Play it in four dimensions if you can figure out the continuum. As it happens, this isn't actually a poker game. Now, this is a Tetris sort of experience, using the rules of hand building in poker. Cards are falling from the top of the screen into a 5x5 five five grid, and you have to create a poker hand out of them, either vertically or horizontally in groups of at least three. You can have straights, flushes, straight and royal flushes, and three or four of a kind. The better the hand, the more points you get, and you progress to the next round if you can clear all the cards out. You have a hand of four cards that you can cycle through by pressing the B button, and holding A when the card is at the top of the screen keeps it held there for some valuable thinking time. Note that you only get a short countdown for this though, and once it's used up, it doesn't replenish. If you have any cards left over once the deck is done, then you lose 50 points per card. If your points total runs into negative, you're done. Seems logical. You start with a thousand points, and for the first round you must ante 500 of those. To get past the first stage, either eliminate all the cards or get 500 points via the hands you put together. Three of the same suit only gets you 10 points, but three of a kind, i.e. three nines, gives you a solid 300, and a straight flush of only three cards gives 500, so it's these you want to be going for. The payoff for just eliminating triplets isn't really worth it. Later on, you get replays that allow you to try a level again if you manage to beat it, but don't quite meet the ante or score too well. So at least it's not a one loss game over type of thing. Beat a level and you get a rather sexy looking lady in a Bridget Jones style bunny outfit, and there's a sad looking clown girl if you lose and cannot continue. The visuals are drawn quite well, even if there aren't too many of them. There's also a two player mode where you take it in turns to place cards. This variation of the game is a lot of fun, and reminds me of the types of games we'd play with cousins when we visited the Gramps as kids. The opening music is a really grating rendition of Jeanne Le Pédé Numéro 1 by Eric Satie, and the rest of the soundtrack is a pretty uninspiring assortment of other classical tunes. At the end of each stage, make sure you push A right away, else you're treated to this horrendous wailing noise until you do. I actually quite like this. It looks fine, and although it sounds pretty awful, you certainly don't lose anything by playing the game in silent. In fact, that's exactly how I would do it. Thank you. 